<sighs> What's up, people? I'm gonna do my soapbox even though I don't feel good. That way everybody knows that I am human sometimes. I think I'm super not human actually because of how much I am actually capable of doing in a one day time period. So with that being said, right now I am super, super agitated. Hey, what's up, Justin? Um, I'm super agitated for the simple fact that I don't know what's going on with my gallbladder. Um, I don't, it's, I've had it ish, like issues with it before. Yep, when the bun goes up, it's never a good thing. So anyways, I've had issues with it before. I'm leaving it in there because I don't have time for surgery. And um, I still eat like shit, I'll be honest. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie to you because that would suck. But I'll be totally honest with you, I still eat like shit. And um, it's just been literally like pulsating for like 36 hours straight and I don't know why. I did go for blood work today to see if there was like some sort of infection and check a couple different things to see what's going on. Regardless, anytime I eat anything, it makes me want to throw up and not want to eat anything again because it feels like there's a spear going through my rib cage into my back. It's, it's so painful. Um, I took like four Tylenol p PMs last night and went to sleep hoping that I would not wake up from the excruciating pain, but it's so painful so I haven't eaten anything today. So I'm at the point where I'm like, okay, I'm in a lot of pain and it hurts and it doesn't matter what I do. It's still going to hurt, right? So just eat, right? I haven't eaten all day and I'm starting to become really, really hangry. Um, hangry. Okay. So I started being really bitchy towards probably about four o'clock this afternoon, but I didn't want to eat anything because it hurts to eat. So anyways, long story short, this is why I'm like super pissed. So it must be my destiny to not eat tonight because, and this is the true story, so that's why it makes it extra funny. Um, I decided, you know, obviously I don't feel good, so I'm going to, you know, order Uber Eats and I'll just get like some plain grilled chicken breasts from Applebee's and maybe a baked potato, see what I can get down and call it a day. Anyways, I order Applebee's, right? And I do it from the office knowing that I have a 30 minute drive home. So I order it. I pull into my neighborhood where I start to lose connection because I live in like Timbuktu and Uber calls me. Uber goes, hey, did you get your order yet? I said, hey, I'm not home. I don't know. I said, if you can wait a minute, I can see if the Uber driver dropped off my delivery. So of course I lose connection. And of course they, they're from like India or some random country that you can't call back. Um, so I just sat there and I'm like, shoot, I was like, I don't have my order, went onto the thing, I'm like to the app and <laughs> apparently I called Applebee's, I replaced the order, right? Apparently with the first order, there was some lady, her name is Lisa. She's going to be here in 10 minutes. I can't wait to meet this individual driver. Um, but anyways, her name is Lisa. She showed up. She supposedly picked up the food from Applebee's from Tina because I called over there and then left. Now, of course, when they show up, they have to show like their little thing of like, oh, I'm delivering for Sharice at this address and I'm getting this, this and that. Remind you, I have not eaten anything today and it is nine o'clock at night. Okay. So just imagine you not eating for like what, four hours? Is that when you guys get pissed off? Like four, five, six, six hours. Just imagine not eating since like last night, you know, except for some like avian water. So anyways, I called Tina. Tina tells me that another driver pick, like shows up at Applebee's and goes, hey, I'm here to pick up the order. She goes, well, I just gave it to this Lisa chick. Well, no Lisa shows up, right? She said a third driver comes to pick up the order that doesn't exist because Lisa picked it up, right? <laughs> and she said, okay, I just told you that there was already somebody that came to pick this up. That's when she picked up the phone and called Uber and said, hey, listen, this order's already been picked up. And they called me and they said, it's been picked up. Did you get it? I said, no. So I replaced the order because I'm not going to cook anything. And by golly, I'm not going to send John to go get me something to eat because I can't think of anything on this planet that I want to eat anyways. Hi, babe. Um, so anyways, I look to see who the driver is that's coming to bring my food at 923 and it is 913. And the driver is Lisa. How exciting. I get to meet the driver that lost the first order. How cool is that? So when Lisa shows up in 11 minutes, I would like to meet her personally to ask her just what happened to that magical order prior to this one. So anyways, 
Um, so yeah, it should be interesting. I, if I could, if I, I should keep you guys on here for six minutes just to see how that goes. That would not be very nice of me, but you know, I already told you guys that I'm not the nicest person you'll ever meet. Anyways, so Peter, let me make sure John knows too. John, you're already down there. If you're watching, please make sure that when the Uber driver shows up that you come get me and don't try to be nice and allow her to leave here without talking to me because she's going to speak with me about the original order and where it landed in Never Never Land. So anyways, that's the story for today. I am human, so I figured I'd share my story of me not eating all day. And yes, I'm in a bad mood. And, um, you know, usually I'm pretty damn happy, to be honest with you. I mean, I'm even on days that I don't feel good, I'm still show up to work. I smile. I'm in a good mood. I'm happy. I take an ECA, drink a bunch of water, call it a day. But, you know, when you don't eat something, it kind of puts you in a bad mood, you know? So, yeah, I am. Jeff, I want to say I'm so lucky to have John because he is... Uh, the blessing in the sky of husbands of mine um, and always has to deal with something. I'll be totally honest with you guys, though. As much as I preach about take care of yourself, take care of yourself, got to take care of yourself, make sure you take care of yourself, make sure you take your meds like you should, make sure you do this, make sure you stay on top of everything, da 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 I don't, I'll be honest, I don't take care of myself like I should. And the reason I don't is because I don't have time. And I don't have time because I don't make the time. Um, I'm not sure quite yet if I don't make the time because I really don't have the time to make because I'm sure I, if I wanted to do something, I could do it. Or if I just don't make the time because I'm scared of what the doctor's going to tell me. And then what the doctor tells me then results in something like a surgery that I also don't have time for. So it really results in like a dead end street. If you really think about the bigger picture here, people, it's a dead end street because it's going to result in them telling me that I need surgery for something that I don't have time to have surgery for. So then what happens? I just suck it up, deal with it. And then, you know, bitch about it to John. And then he listens to me bitch and, you know, he's okay with that. So he's a, he's a strong husband of mine to always deal with me. But, um, yeah, it's just this time keeps going by so slow and I really want to meet this Lisa girl um, to ask her where the original order is. And I'm sure, I promise you guys, if I'm not on this thing, when she does show up here, I'll put it in the comments of what exactly she said. But I'm like, why would you send the same dumb driver that picked up the original order that obviously couldn't make it to my house? Why would you send her to get the second order? Hmm? Makes no sense, right? People don't make any sense. Business sometimes doesn't make any sense. So anyways, that's the story of my life. There's always something that goes wrong. It's never, ever, 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 ever perfect. Um, but yes, uh, to address some of these comments, I definitely need a vacation, but I don't have time for a vacation. And it's so easy for everybody on the other side to be like, just take the time, you know, it's take the time you need it. Go do this, go do that. But at the end of the day, there's like an abundance of things that I do that nobody else can do. Even if I teach them how to do it, they still can't really do it. So just guess what you got to do when you, uh, own a business and uh, you're an entrepreneur. You do have to make sacrifices. Now I do agree that I should not be sacrificing my health to make sure that everything goes the way that it should. But um, at least I'm being honest with you guys, right? I'm being honest that I'm making some sacrifices and myself happens to be one of them. You know, unfortunately I don't offer anything at Titan that can uh, fix, you know, endometriosis and some weird gallbladder that probably needs to be removed. Isn't it supposed to just be for decoration? I mean, you really don't need it. I'll be honest with you. You don't need a gallbladder. So I would happily have it removed very quickly. Um, but then I have to do the recovery thing and then go in for surgery. And as they're putting me under anesthesia, I'm so worried about all my patients and what's going on with them. What do they need? And did they get it in time? And are people responding to their text messages? Did so-and-so get a call back? I mean... Oh, she's here. Oh. Let's ask Lisa what happened to the original order. Is this whole long or what? Are you guys still trying to put that thing together? Yeah. Hi. Is, is that, What's up? <sighs> Get in your cage. Go. Cage time. So we have to go in her cage. Must go in cage when people show up. No? John, our food's not here? 
You must have went to the front door. Let me know when uh, Lisa shows up. Anyways, so to finish my live, because I definitely need to take a shower or like a hot bath or something. Um, I really thought that was Lisa. Wouldn't that have been good? It would have been alive. Ugh. But then, see, I wouldn't have been able to be really mean about it because I'm on live and I have to filter some of this. <sighs> Anyways, uh, I had gallbladder removed. So I guess my question to you, if anybody has had their gallbladder removed, is does it, does it make you fat? I mean, I've heard, I've heard both ways. I've heard that it can make you gain weight and then make you lose a bunch of weight. I don't know if I want to do either one. So I'm like petrified to take it out because I'm scared that there's going to be a bigger problem um, if I do take it out. Jeff, I know, I know, I know, I know. I really, I understand. I, I know what you're saying. And Jeff, you need to text me when we get done so that way you can tell me what to eat for the next like five days. But in all honesty, I'm like, I love my french fries and I love my pizza. I just, it's so good. I mean, and then I have all this stuff to make sure I stay skinny and have energy, but I'm obviously not very healthy on the inside because I'm not doing what I should be doing. I get it. At least I'm being honest. See, I could sit here and bullshit everybody and say, hey, you know, I do this, I do that, I eat celery, and I make my mixed drinks in the morning, and I eat smoothies, and all I do is just eat right, and I work out for an hour a day, and unfortunately, I don't. I don't work out because I don't have time, and I don't eat right just because I don't have time to go and get the right food unless John brings it to the office for me, you know? He's a nice guy like that. What's up, Bobby? Hi, Steven. What up, what up, what up, what up? So anyways, um, any suggestions on stuff to eat that doesn't taste like total utter cardboard box would be greatly appreciated. Put it in here for me. I'll keep you guys updated on what comes back on my blood test. Hopefully everything's okay. Regardless, I'm definitely going to take something to go to sleep tonight because I'm exhausted and I don't want to get up every 30 minutes tossing and turning with this awesome gallbladder spasm thing that's going on underneath my right rib cage because it's very, 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 very uncomfortable. Um, but luckily, I am a soldier and I'll get through anything because I have to. See, it's not an option. When things aren't an option, you just do it because you don't have a choice. Um, it's like do or die kind of thing. So, you know, you either do it or you die. I'm not saying I'm going to die, duh, but I'm telling you, there's things that you just have to do. You don't have any options. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and wait for this woman to show up on my doorstep in one minute, hoping that she actually shows up. If not, then I'm going to have John cook me something to eat because I'm so hungry. Um, so anyways, I will talk to all of you soon. Jason, hi, hi, hi. Thank you, Jennifer, for your, for your insight on this stuff. Um, you know, I'd like to say I know everything, but I don't. Um, I do know a lot about a lot, but I don't know everything. And um, I guess when it comes to me, like I know everything about everybody else. When everybody gets sick, I'm the first person to be like, oh, this is what you got to do. This is what you got to take. This is how you take it. This is how long you got to take it for. You need to do this. You need to do that. And then when it comes to me, I'm like, uh, I don't know what to do. I have no idea. <laughs> anyways. Um, so anyways, I'll keep you guys posted. And uh, that's my mini soapbox for the day. And I am just being real. And that's what the soapbox is all about, right? So I'll see you guys soon. And wish me good luck in 60 seconds when our, my Uber driver hopefully shows up with my chicken and my baked potato for me to eat. So I don't strangle her through the Uber app. All right, guys. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.